I know about now you guys are getting sick of me reviewing these Halloween items. Well, my apologies, but I'm actually having a blast. Today, we got Jack in the Box items. When I lived in Kansas, there was no Jack in the Box. I don't know if they have them now, but they did not have a Jack in the Box at all. I didn't know about Jack in the Box until I was in California, but Jack in the Box is definitely that type of fast food restaurant where you gotta be drunk to have it. I'm gonna be honest. It is filthy. You never want to go to a place that has tacos and burgers and croissants. Way too much of a mix. It can't be good. But I appreciate the options. They have some Halloween items and they're rocking my socks. I'm very excited. So Jack in the Box has the monster tacos. Monster sized tacos with melted American cheese, shredded lettuce, and taco sauce. And it's spicy counterpart, the angry monster tacos. And then we get a cool down with the basic witch shake, which is their pumpkin spice Oreo cookie shake made with Oreo cookie pieces. Let's fucking go, baby. Oh, we got to get to this quick. Now I'm going to start with the tacos because it's only right. Wow, they weren't kidding. These things are big. They really are monster tacos. They're monster in size. I thought it meant like monster like creepy. Let's get into this. Oh, before we do, I just want to say guys that if you haven't already, make sure to cop some no name merch, jakemerch.com. Basically, if you don't know, no name is my brand and my entire personality. To me, being a no name is being someone that doesn't really like fit in with the crowd and that kind of sucks, but it's cool because you're unique. And let me tell you, if you're a no name and you don't got many friends, when you find Find someone else that is a no name two people that are just like unique that vibe together dude it rocks when I lived in Kansas I felt like it was so hard for me to connect with people but when I came out here and met some of my friends dude I am friends with the coolest people like it's so nice being friends with people that are unique I mean look at Johnny look at that fucking guy that got rocks monster taco oh that's a spicy one not yeah baby Oh my god, yo. Besides, doesn't matter, right, ladies? Just kidding, it does. If your taco is, uh, anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think in dicks too much. Now, I apologize to the Mexican community. I know this is a sad sack of shit for a taco. I mean, look at the grease. It's just <laughs> seeping through the taco like a dirty diaper. But hey, if you're drunk, I bet it's delicious. Here we go. Yo, yo, oh my God, dude, this rocks. It's better than Taco Bell. I'm going to be honest, like Taco Bell, it kind of falls apart. Like right here, we got some, we got some armor on this taco. This thing is holding up. Let's go one more time, trying to get to the middle, trying to get all that meat. Yo, yo. Uh Is this supposed to be hot? Am I tripping balls? Is that supposed to be hot? Oh my God, I just got throat fucked by Satan. Now I'm scared for the hot one because this isn't even the hot one, it's hot. Okay, <laughs> monster taco. I have seen some good tacos in my life. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> it's a four out of five. I've been to some very nice Mexican restaurants. Those are obviously a five out of five, but this, when it comes to a dirty fast food taco, oh my God, you can't get better, baby. I didn't think I was gonna rate it that. I thought I was gonna rate it like a two. So if you haven't, get the monster taco. Oh, there she is. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is very scary. But woo, look at that red 40, baby. That's what I like about America, is we got the red 40. We got all the chemicals, they're all legal, baby. I've been around the block, I've been to Europe. The McDonald's and all that, it's, it's pretty good. But you know, us Americans, we got our chemicals, baby. And that makes that shit taste gooder than a beard. So this one's supposed to be a lot more spicy but hey i like the taste of spice i just don't like how it feels i'm a very white guy pray for my little white ass why does this have less flavor yo <laughs> it has quite a bit less flavor i'm not gonna lie i don't know what's going on here i'm gonna try to get to the middle mm -mm. Mm. why is it not spicy why is the red one, not spicy. I'm not feeling it. I don't know what's going on. It's not spicy. Did they make it wrong? I'll go one more bite. I was only meaning to take one, but sometimes you gotta be bad. This is my excuse to take another bite. It's good. Nope. <laughs> 
No spice. <laughs> what the tit? It's not even as good. I feel like the regular taco had a lot more flavor. I don't know if it was in the shell or what, but this one's kind of a sad sack of shit. I'd have to give this one a two. Get the regular monster taco if you go. Just do it. You'll love it. But, wow. Now, come on. For the grand finale, uh, the basic witch shake with Oreos. Oh my god. This is gonna be good. You guys know that I'm a whore for cookies and cream. Cookies and cream, peanut butter, peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> You can't go wrong. I'm gonna try to stir it up because you know when a shake's been sitting too long, you gotta really give it a good stir, get that consistency back, you know what I'm saying? There we go, thicken her up, get her nice and thick. There we go, okay, here we go. Whew. I'm having a very high standard for this because I don't play with my cookies and cream. Ooh, I forgot it was pumpkin spice. <laughs> One more sip to settle her in, you know what I'm saying? I like it more than most pumpkin spice drinks, but it kind of takes away from the cookies and cream. Now, I love cookies and cream, I love the flavor, but I guess it pairs best with vanilla because it just tastes like pumpkin spice and little chunks, but you don't get to taste the chunks. The chunks really only come out with vanilla, so truly, it just feels like I'm drinking a pumpkin spice drink, a chunky wonky one at that. Honestly, I don't know if I'm that thrilled about it, to be honest, because I'm not the biggest pumpkin spice fan. If it was just cookies and cream and orange die I might have liked it a little bit more this really isn't rocking my socks it's not really tickling my gooch I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five to be honest my apologies so Jack of the Box honestly I think they worked hard and I do appreciate that but Come on, man. It's not for me. I think in general, for the general audience, people like it. I think you should give it a try. If you're curious about it, give it a try. I know you guys are sick of me reviewing Halloween items, but I'm having so much fun. I love when fast food places come out with cool things. I love a good theme. Anywhere, any restaurant, like, I'm trying to have a theme. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the most fun. I wish there was something like Halloween every month. Not like only spooky, you know? I don't care about it being spooky. I just care about the theme. You know what I'm saying? I wish that when it was St. Patrick's Day, that the whole month was St. Patrick's Day theme. I wish every single month just had just a theme that's in your face because it's just so fun. I love it, you know? Things start to feel a little slow around the summer when things aren't having that theme. I haven't been doing my best at going all out. I don't know, I find about parties like the night of and I kind of just throw something together, but maybe Halloween I'll come up with something really cool. Honestly, I want to be something that's scary. I feel like people try hard, too hard to be sexy sometimes. I want to be something that's actually terrifying. The only problem is if I go out to a party, people won't want to talk to me because I'm so scary looking. You know when you go to a, oh, dude, I hate going to Halloween parties and having a prop in my hand. I'm like, oh, it sounds cool in retrospect. And you're like, damn it, I'm stuck with this thing. It's like holding a newborn baby for the whole night. I hope you guys live up your Halloween. Make it count. Go to all these fast food restaurants. Try the new items. Just have a lot of fun. I love you guys so fucking much. If you haven't already, get some merch at jakemerch.com. Be a no-name, baby. Rep that shit. Also, I got an album coming out, so please be on the lookout for it because I've been working really hard on it. And if you see any clips from this that you want to clip and put on TikTok, I always repost the TikToks. I love them. I love when you guys clip things. <laughs> Shout out to chat right here. If you want to be in this live stream, go to twitch.tv slash jakeweber16. And turn on the notifications so you can be in this live chat because dude my live chat they fucking rock And that is all maybe there will be more Halloween items stay tuned. Love you guys so much. Bye